my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. asking me, uh, because I'm so focused on mastery, right? Um, most people, uh, intuitively, because we're built the way we are, we look at guitar playing, and then we start uh, chopping away at every skill we have in front of us. We need to play chords, we need rhythm, we need scales if you want to improvise or play solos, we need technique, we need the one technique, alternate picking, like, whatever. There's a lot of theory, right? And then we come to compose. There's so many things you can master. And then I, you know, tell you to take one little thing and then just hammer away at it. Like, if you want to learn something like, uh, if you want to learn to play chords, you just take two chords and then you focus on them incessantly until you absolutely master them at the highest level, right? If you want to learn rhythm, instead of doing, you know, trying to cover everything and doing one exercise, then the next, then you take one thing, like, like let's say, uh, if. if Right, whatever it is, and then you learn it to the point of one, two, three, four, five. Right, it's so easy, that, and you can do it much faster than you really need to. So it becomes effortless, which is mastery. But then the next argument is, but Klaus, that's, you know, I, I, can't, you know, I can't focus on one single little thing, like playing three notes on one string for several months and, and spend 75% of my time, which is what I recommend, on just doing that because there are so many other things I need to learn, right? But, and, and then my next argument is that what happens is once you get good at just one little thing, then everything that looks just a little bit like that will become so much easier. But your brain is going to buck you all the way <laughs> to that. It's going to say, ah, oh, you're wasting your time, man. You're, you want to learn to master guitar? You want to learn to do what he does? You want to learn that, and then there you go, man. Hour after hour, week after week, you're playing these three notes on one string. You must be an idiot. And it's going to have that conversation as you try to get away from me. Get away, caveman idiot. While you try to focus and really get good at one thing. Because once you can do this, then it's so much easier to go to the next string and go, right? But, but most people try to go, you know, which involves a million little uh, challenges at one time. Uh, but uh, I thought about a really, really good example of how this principle works, just to you know, get it into your head even more, is that when you're learning scales, for instance, uh, let's say that you want to learn the diatonic major minor scale, just a, right? And you learn that. And in, in all its positions and three note per string, whatever, and you can play it across the neck and put the shapes together. And <laughs> no matter where you are on the neck, right? It's easy, right? It, it, you got mastery, and you won't. You, you're not focused on any other similar scales. You just focused on that until you master it. Then. If you want to learn harmonic minor, pff, that's super easy, right? If you want to learn melodic minor, pff, easy, right? Because now you have one scale that you can change. And the thing that you're changing is super easy, right? So you got that shape there, and then you know, okay, where's the harmonic minor change? Well, it's, it's instead of going, you go, so that note right there changes. And because you're so freaking familiar with that, diatonic, that normal major minor scale shape, it's just in you. Because it's so familiar, it's so easy to change it. But if you're just a little bit unsure, right? Let me just play the harmonic minor again. You change two notes in one vertical shape, and you got harmonic minor. 
It's the same note you change, of course. And like, it's like in a couple of weeks, you have total mastery over the harmonic minor because you mastered that fundamental diatonic scale shape first, right? Or those shapes. Because then you change something that is ultra familiar. But if you try to practice diatonic, the diatonic scale, and then you change it to the harmonic minor, and then you play. You change another note, so you have two notes that are changed from the diatonic, then it, you, it's just a nightmare. It really is. And you're never going to learn to be totally familiar with any of those three scales. And I was talking about the natural minor, which is the same as the major scale, and the harmonic minor, where you raise the seventh step of the scale. And uh, then the uh, melodic minor, where you raise the seventh and the sixth. Right? Right? Uh, and those three scales are easily learned. But what do you do? Do you learn them all at once? And focus a little bit on that, then a little bit on that, then you can, you can go back and forth like that forever, I promise you. You can do you know, for years, you can go, you never really kind of ugh, right? You, know, you never really got control over anything until you focus on the first and, you know, and get so familiar with it, like it's, it's total, it's home, right? And then you can start changing it. And that works in the most miraculous way. Like it becomes easy instead of, using this amount of energy on all three, you use this amount of energy on just one, the first one, the diatonic scale. And then eh, the last 20%, it's just a, you just, you plow through the last two scales because it's a change to something very familiar. I hope this makes sense, I really do, because it works miraculously. And your intuition, the caveman brain is gonna tell you that you're full of it when you start practicing like this, because it's, ha, 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 there's so many other things. And you're going to get bored with focusing on the same thing over and over again, right? That's just natural. But you have to, you know, create the variety within it and inspire yourself and go back to this principle over and over and over again and watch this video again and again and again, because you have to counteract that idiot caveman. He's only an idiot because what he's made for is just to go hunt, right? And, and fight other guys, right? War, hunting, eating, sleeping, and you know, the rest of the story, right? That's what we're made for. But we're also amazing creatures that can adapt to anything. And we have a brain that can really step out of its own programming and then do the right, the most efficient, uh, effective thing if we focus on it continuously. And that's, a, that's, an, that's something you need to do by itself. You need to really be focused on how you're working when you're practicing. And then anyone can do this. Anyone can learn to master this instrument at the highest level if you're intelligent about it. If you're not, you're just going to go, duh, right? Like a caveman <laughs> and achieve very little. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.